Today I'll be showing you the basic essential guide to creating these stunning images using these AI tools that are either free or has a free credit system for you to try out. The first tool we will be looking at is called Ideogram. To get started, we need to search for Ideogram AI, go to this site and sign in with your socials. We can go over here to start writing our prompt. Create a logo for a fantasy game with the text Dragon Masters that includes an image of a dragon breathing fire on a clear white background. We will use Ideogram's latest 3.0 model, change the aspect ratio and style. Here we will try to use realistic style. Click on generate. And once it's done, we can see the results. Ideogram gives us four images to choose from. We didn't get the clear background, so we can try to choose another style like the design style and generate again. And again, it gives us four images, this time with the clear background, which we can later edit to remove the background or upscale it later. Another tip is to use the magic prompt or chat GPT to enhance your prompt. For this image, I have asked chat GPT to enhance my prompt before adding it in. You can also turn on the magic prompt or have it on auto mode so it will detect prompts that are less descriptive and enhances it using its own magic prompt feature. I find Ideogram works best with anything text-based like this robot here. Here I added simple prompt and their magic prompt enhances it for me to get the most ideal result. Ideogram gives you 20 credits weekly. Each generation costs four credits, allowing you to test with five images each week as a free user. Next, we will be looking at Leonardo AI. Head onto this website here and sign up using your socials. Once in, click on the image creation tab in the middle. In Leonardo, you can choose from a variety of specific image models such as cinematic kino, design, and anime. They also integrated Flux, but not yet the pro version. In each of this model, there is a sub style we can choose from depending on the image you need. So we will begin with the prompt, a cinematic hyper-realistic close-up shot of a dwarf warrior with gray hair and gray beard in full battle armor in the middle of an icy battlefield. Click on Generate, and Leonardo was able to create stunning images of realistic cinematic quality, which we can use to upscale or make a video out of later. Next, we can change to a different image model without changing the prompt. Let's try to change it to an anime style. And the results are simply stunning. Leonardo tops up your credits daily up to 150 tokens. Depending on the model you use, it can cost 10 to 14 credits on medium sized outputs. Next, we will explore a free tool by Google Labs. Head on to this website and sign up for an account. To use this, we will go inside ChatGPT and get it to help us write a detailed prompt on what we want to do. Describe your prompt and have ChatGPT enhance it for you. Copy the results and paste it here. Here we can guide the image by selecting a few styles and prompt guidance to get the desired results. I have chosen realistic cinematic and photography amongst a few things. With that, we get the results, it looks great. But because we had written a fairly unique prompt, the image model is not as well trained to capture the realistic essence of a snowy fantasy battlefield. So I am going to try another prompt. This time, a more close-up look of a dwarf king in the middle of an icy terrain. I paste the results I got from ChatGPT here. As you can see, we get a much better realistic output since it is more of a close-up shot, so the model is able to interpret it better. Now let's say I want to have this same character in another environment and maintain some character consistency. We can lock in the seed at the settings below. Change and tweak the prompt to have the character in another environment and generate again. You can see we get a character that is very similar in another environment. Of course, this is a fairly complex character, so getting each detail right is very hard, but it does a fairly decent job. Here I have another example of another character in different poses with the same type of clothes. Lastly, you might want to upscale some of these images if you want to use it in a more production setting. Of course, there are many tools out there, but if you need a free solution, you can head onto this website here, upload your image, choose the size upscale percentage, and let it run. You can get images of up to 4K resolution. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to get started using these AI image tools. Here are some of those images I converted into video, and I will share how we do that in the next tutorial. Consider subscribing to my channel and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye.